Hey there YouTube, it's Math Buller. Welcome to my fourth of eight videos from the Mainline Autograph Show held at the Monroeville Convention Center from Friday to Sunday, May 19th to 21st, 2023. After this video, I'm going to take a little break from my Mainline videos as there's another card show coming up that I want to promote using previous videos from their show back in April. But this video from the Mainline Show are going to be all nine of my autographed baseballs that I purchased from Greg Weechters. That's how I'm going to go with it. Sports autographs. He is at the show almost every year. He's at the National. I mean, good stuff. And these all came from his show special. They were $25 each. And they had to have, for me proper authentication and then this one was you know as price but he still knocked off ten dollars you cannot get him to budge on the show specials which <laughs> they were fine on friday i went there i took pictures of every baseball that i was interested in there was nine of these i ended up buying eight of them and then there was two of the ones in the as price i bought one of them so Keep in mind that these first eight baseballs are all $25 each. They're all on either Bud Selig or Manfred Balls. As I said, they have proper authentication. The baseball itself is going to cost you $20. The authentication costs money. So to get them signed with authentication on a proper official Rawlings, Rawlings official Major League Baseball of some kind for $25 each, amazing. First up, and I'm going in alphabetical order except for the last one. We got Johnny Cueto as a Pirates fan. This is a must in my collection from the 2013, the 2013 National League wildcard game. The Pirates had not been in the playoffs since the slide back in 1992. And then in 2023, they were the wild card, in the wildcard game. Oh my goodness. And Johnny Cueto, you know, the famous Cueto moment there. He dropped the ball and then Russell Martin threw the next, or hit the next pitch. Hit that ball into the left field bleachers. He was a two-time All-Star, but no, Mr. Cueto, you are famous to me for oh, the most outstanding playoff game that I will hope, you know, as of this point, I've ever seen. So, next up, it's a little bit faded, but it isn't all that bad. The inscription sold it for me. We got Howard Johnson, you know, 1986 World Series champs. Yep, he was a two-time World Series champ. Uh, he was a two-time All-Star, two-time Silver Slugger. 91, he was the NL home run leader and RBI leader. The Johnny Quaid I showed you was JSA Authenticated. This one's dual authenticated. It's Major League Authenticated and Steiner Authenticated. So we got dual authentication on the Howard Johnson. So my favorite thing to collect are autographed baseballs. Haven't shown many lately. I have over 700 autographed baseballs. Well, here's nine more for the collection. And I did not have any of them. All right, next up, we got Ed Cranepool. That's the 1969 World Champs inscription. That's what sold it for you. Like, oh, that's cool. Yes, they did win the World Series Champs. There's a number of Mets in here. So I'm imagining there's a number of Mets Hall of Famers, too. He was an all-star at some point. This is on a Leonard Coleman ball, so this one's one of the outliers. It's not a Bud Selig or Robert Manfred ball, but on the official, still an official Rawlings ball. So PSA, DNA authentication, so the baseball, the inscription, the certification. Oh, man. Usually when I look at his show specials, I end up buying, you know, two to four of them. I bought eight of them. And next one, it's the inscription that got me for this one. Ray Knight, yes, in 1986, he was the World Series MVP. Yeah, WS, WMVP. So, yeah, and that's, you know, JSA authenticated. And they all came with their cert cards as well, the ones that should have had cert cards. So, like ones from TriStar don't have an actual cert card, but that's okay. This one I have seen. He's had in his show special, or at least he's had, had one of this player for a long time, it seems. But I, it, I figure it's time. Mark Mulder. You know, getting Tim Hudson and Barry Zito to go along with this would be awesome. 
but he was a two-time All-Star. He uh, led the American League in wins one year. I believe he had 21. This one is TriStar Authenticated and MLB Authenticated. So, very nice. To get Mark Mulder added to my collection. You know, I could have bought so many big ball, big time baseballs, but um, I'm glad to get these guys in my collection. For the price I got for this, you know, I could still spend you know $150 more and gotten a Willie Mays or a few hundred dollars more and gotten a Mickey Mail. That time will come. But uh, when I see this variety, you gotta go for it. Next up is a current pirate of Carlos Santana. Back in 2019, when he was a member of the then Cleveland Indians, he was an all-star and a silver slugger. So it's cool to add him to the collection. So we do have a pirate in here, and this was JSA authenticated on a Manfred ball. So that was a neat one. Really wasn't expecting to get any current pirate players, but yep. He's been around the league for a while. This one, sentimental value here. We got Jan Jervis Salarte. I mean, his last year in the major leagues was in 2019. So he, he hasn't even been in the league for a while. JSA authenticated on a Bud Seeley ball. But he hit a baseball that I ended up catching. So, yeah, and look at that nice autograph. Dang. Now, if only I could get him to sign the baseball that I caught that he had hit. But I'd rather have that as a consolation then. My eighth of nine autographs, this is my last of the show special, $25 baseballs, all authenticated, all on Rawlings Official Major League Baseballs. Here's another member of the 1979 World Series team with the appropriate inscription. And this one is Steiner Authenticated. So, in order to make my collection, you really have to have good authentication. Steiner, that will work. Ron Sabota. Um, you know, he's on my TTM list. I've got his, a nice car to send him for TTM purposes, but I'll get there eventually. But he did have a big defensive play in the 69 World Series. So I'm sure to Mets fans, he's a bit of a hero. But that's a lot of goodness for $200. They did not come with these display cases, obviously, these cubes I bought myself. So, Red Shane Dean has been somebody that I've been trying to get for a while, but I don't want to overpay for him. His autographs are out there. I mean, the guy was in the league for over 70 years. Uh, close to 70 of them were with the Cardinals. He's a Hall of Famer, 10-time All-Star, 5-time World Series champ. We got the Hall of Fame inscription. We got 67 World Series champs inscription, and that's what sold it. The fact that it had more than one inscription. I'm like, okay. It was 85 bucks, and the seller, Greg, said he would knock 10 off of that. I said, then we'll put it in the pile. Because <laughs> uh, he don't come down off his show specials, which is very understandable. 25 bucks for an official ball with authentication, yes. That's as good of a deal as you can expect. This one is JSA authenticated so there we go nine autograph baseballs for the collection if you're ever at the national or maybe some regional shows and you see you know greg wachter's booth it's very obvious because he will have hundreds of baseballs there are color coordinated um index card type situations sticking out of these boxes so it's very obvious when you see them. I'm looking on my phone right now. I'm pretty sure, yes, I did delete the picture that I took of all of his baseballs to show you that beautiful organization. But hey, let me know in the comments below what was your favorite. I upload three videos a week, a TTM video on Monday, and an autograph and or trading card video such as this on Wednesdays and Saturdays. I'm taking a little break from my mainline videos to promote another show, showing some items from the previous show that I bought. But uh, yeah, I really would appreciate it if you would like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Take care, everybody.